This x-ray is worrying. Let's go through the case. There's clearly a difference between the right and the left lung. The left lung is more dense than the right. Now there are a few things that it could be. If you look at the left costophrenic angle, you can see some blunting. So there is at least some pleural fluid here. However, there's more going on. If you look at a normal chest x-ray, you should be able to see the aortic knuckle, the main pulmonary trunk below that, and then the aortopulmonary window in between those. In our case, I can see the aorta, but I can't see any of the other structures, so something wrong is going on with the mediastinum. Now, although the left hilum can be a little bit above the right side, usually about two centimetres, to be this much higher means there's something going on. That left hilum is being pulled up. Also, look at the position of that left hemidiaphragm. There is a marked loss of volume on the left side as well as that increase in density. Now, an increase in density with loss of volume on a chest x-ray should make you think about collapse. Now, collapse happens when there's something blocking the airway. This can be tumour, it can be mucus, or it could even be a foreign body. If we have a look at the CT, we'll follow the trachea down into left upper lobe bronchus. When we follow that up, we lose it within this opacity here. If we look at the PET scan, we can see this is all metabolically active. This is all tumour. This is a left upper lobe lung cancer causing left upper lobe collapse. A lot of radiology is about pattern recognition. So just remember, if you see this veil-like opacity on the left side with a raised left hilum and loss of volume, think about left upper lobe collapse.